This is the beam splitter. 80% uh, of the light goes straight through here, through to the spectroscope, up to the camera. The other 20% goes down to the guide camera, and that's why I use a guiding PhD. Okay, in terms of how I know where the slit is, I start with the micrometer set at uh, zero order, so I can take a picture through the slit at zero order, and I can open and close the slit because it's a variable slit I've got. Yes. Get the star in the centre of the slit, and then in PhD, I use a marker, I use Al's yes. reticle, okay. there's a bit of software across here to see where the slit is. Yes. So once I've done that, then I move to, you know, then I'll close the slit, close the slit up and go down to whatever reading, H alpha or whatever, whatever reading I want to, I want to do. Okay, what is this? Oh, this, this is the, this is the pivot for the, the actual, uh, for, for the actual, uh, uh, Diffraction grating. Okay. So, okay. so that actually turns. So when I turn that, when I turn that, this turns round and it turns the wheel round. So the diffraction grating is like that, and it obviously moves like that as I move up and down. So that's it. And there's a little spring there, so you know, for, for to put pressure on the on the on, on, on the grating, and it's, it just sits in there and it just moves like that back and forward. And it. and it's, it's got a prism. So this bit, so. Go through the slit, and there's a prism here. So it's yeah, not a mirror; it's okay. a prism which which directs the light onto the uh, onto the grate, onto the diffraction grating, yes. and then back through onto the okay. onto the camera. So it's literal design. So it works. It works. You've seen the spectra. Yes, I've seen it. <laughs> You've seen the spectra. <laughs> okay, cut.